Have you ever dreamed of an electric EV full of luxurious specifications? Volkswagen is all set to fulfill your dream very soon. It will give great competition in the electric market with its new MG4, so let's have a look at its model and benefits. Hey folks, welcome back to Tech Electric. In this video, we are going to find out about the new MG4 that comes on the market in July, and let us dive in. MG4 is a nearly century-old historic British automotive brand best known for its sports cars. Today, the rights to use the name were purchased by China's Seic Motor, which has previously only sold models primarily designed for the Chinese market in Europe. But this is about to change with the addition of a new EV. It's unquestionably a more eye-catching vehicle than even the ZS EV, which in turn looked much better than the older MG5. With new challengers arriving, the EV hatch wars are heating up across the Atlantic. Americans may remember MG for its popular MGB Roadster, but after more than a decade as part of China's Seic Motor, the brand is now focused on crossovers and hatchbacks, and some of them are now powered by electricity. MG unveiled its MG4 electric hatchback a few days ago, which will be available in the UK and a number of European countries in what is quickly becoming a popular segment on both sides of the Atlantic. The MG4 will be available with 51 and 64 kilowatt hour batteries and promises perfect 50-50 weight distribution as well as the thinnest battery in its lineup with a height of 4.3 inches. This will provide it with WLTP ranges of 218 and 281 miles respectively. Images of the interior show a minimalist, tidy interior design with a widescreen infotainment system, an instrument cluster with a similarly boxy edge screen, and a drive mode selector wheel positioned on a center stack shelf. The MG4 will be built on the company's modular scalable platform, which will serve as the foundation for a wide range of upcoming electric models that the automaker will offer both domestically and in export markets in Europe, where MG has made some progress even before the debut of its electric models. In the UK, MG is not considered a premium brand, and it competes with more affordable Korean, Japanese, and European brands. The EV hatch is expected to be one of the most significant model launches for the brand since its arrival in Europe under Seic motor ownership. The MG4 specifications will enable it to compete with vehicles such as the Volkswagen ID3 and the Nissan Leaf, to name a few. The smaller battery will be paired with a 168 horsepower electric motor, while the larger will be able to produce 201 horsepower with power going to the rear wheels in both cases. A dual motor version is also on the way. Demand for electric hatchbacks of this type is currently high across the Atlantic, allowing MG to make some long-awaited market share gains, including in its historic home country. The MG4 EV is an important part of MG's next phase of growth, said David Allison, MG Motor UK's head of product and planning. With our new MSP architecture, we will be able to offer multiple options for the rapidly expanding UK electric car market, all of which will reinforce our reputation for outstanding design, market-leading technology, and excellent value for money. Everything we know about the MG4 Electric Mulan in July 2022. MG Motor, which is owned by Seic, has developed a new electric vehicle, the MG Mulan, that is more advanced and premium than the MG ZS EV despite its lower price point. The new electric hatchback will be introduced in Europe as the MG4 Electric in the fourth quarter of 2022. The MG4 Electric is one of four new MG Electric vehicles in the Cyber Series. The Cyber Stir Sports Car, the Cyber S SUV, codename MG IP42, and the MG Cyber X SUV will also be available, codename MG AS34. Here's what we know so far about the MG Electric car. Now let's talk about design. The MG4 is an SUV-style aggressive hatchback that could easily compete in Europe with the VW ID3 and Nissan Leaf. The MG4 Electric is a sporty-looking electric hatchback. According to Seic, it is the first truly global car from the MG brand, and the design appeals to both Chinese and global customers. The MG4 has a shark-like nose section, pedal-shaped, three-eyed headlamps, a muscular bumper with vertical side air intakes, a split lower air intake, and a lip spoiler up front. The sides of the MG4 Electric are sporty, with a rising belt line, sharp creases on the door panels and shoulders, orange brake calipers, and two-tone black and silver alloy wheels in an EV typical aerodynamic design. The charging port is located above the left wheel arch on the quarter panel. The MG4 Electric has a hunkered down stance, a large, nearly full-width tail light with a Seic Vision LED lighting system, a clean bumper, a split rear spoiler, and an SUV-style large skid plate at the rear. With the exception of the low ride height, it appears to be a crossover in many ways. Colors and Accents as seen in the second image in the gallery above, the MG Mulan will be available in China with a variety of wheels, roofs, rear spoilers, headlamps, and other options. According to local reports, 
MG offers the Mulan in wrong green, bright white, light speed silver, flame red, Andean gray, and bright and blue colors. The color palette for the MG4 Electric may not be noticeably different around the world. Now let's look at the interior. The MG4 has a sleek dashboard with slim AC vents, a floating center console with the drive mode selector and electric parking brake, a compact two-spoke steering wheel with flattened top and bottom, the light white and gray two-tone upholstery. The instrument cluster is a small display that is mounted on the dashboard. The center of the dashboard houses the touchscreen infotainment display. Dimensions The electric model from MG is 4,287 millimeters long, 1,836 millimeters wide, and 1,504 millimeters tall. According to data from China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, the compact electric car has a generous 2,705 millimeter wheelbase for the MG Mulan. It would compete with the VW ID3, Cupra Born, Renault Megane E-Tech, and Nissan Leaf based on its size. Range and Performance The MG4 will be offered in two RWD configurations. One with a 125 kilowatt 168 horsepower engine and a 51 kilowatt hour battery pack, and one with a 150 kilowatt 201 horsepower engine with a 64 kilowatt hour battery pack. The 51 kilowatt hour battery pack has a range of 350 kilometers, while the 64 kilowatt hour battery pack has a range of 450 kilometers. Both of these range figures are based on Europe's WLTP cycle. The MG4 Electric can reach a top speed of 160 km per hour after accelerating from 0 to 100 km per hour in less than 8 seconds. AWD with an additional motor powering the front wheels is in the works. It could be a performance variant with a 0 to 100 km per hour sprint time of fewer than 4 seconds to compete with the VW ID3 GTX. Charging The MSP platform also supports 800 volt charging technology. Models equipped with 800-volt charging technology will have a range of 200 kilometers after only 5 minutes of charging and will charge to 80% in 15 minutes. Models equipped with standard 400-volt charging technology will have a range of 100 kilometers after 5 minutes of charging and will take 30 minutes to charge to 80%. According to Auto Home Report, bi-directional charging will be possible in models based on the Nebula platform. In a few months, MG should reveal the charging specifications for the Milan MG4. Price the MG4 Electric, which sits between the MG3 and MG5, is expected to start at well under €30,000 in Europe. The new electric hatchback could become MG's best-selling model in Europe. According to Autocar, MG Motor UK Commercial Director Guy Pagunakis, the MG4 Electric will outperform the ZS EV on a pound-mile basis. It will be less expensive to run than the ZS EV, which consumes 17.3 kWh per 100 km WLTP in standard mode and 17.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers in long mode. MG has confirmed that the starting price will not exceed CNY 200,000. And that brings us to the end of the video. Feel free to let us know what you think about this video. And if you like this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for all things. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Ching and we'll see